With just a couple of days left before Halloween across our region, there has been no shortage of ways to celebrate, including some unique activities in Johnson, Vermont, continuing to foster community in a town that was devastated during the July floods. NBC5 Sid Bule was there today and has more. Welcome to my home. My name is Gigi and I'm here to offer you some protection before you go in. The weekend before Halloween, families in Johnson putting on a pop-up haunted house with the help of volunteers in the community. After the flood, it was like half of the people and members and businesses in Johnson Works were flooded and we lost all of our venues. Organizers bringing new spirit to the now vacant Sterling Market and drawing close to 500 people to the spooky site for family friendly fun. It's a space where we can come together again as a community. Ticket sales go back into Johnson Works to help fund community events throughout the year. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Across town, a community picnic at Legion Field. We are making sweet and savory hand pies. The Johnson Community Oven Committee's annual fall festival turned costume party offering free food, apple cider, cookie decorating, and plenty of room to show off your costume. Or just get into the spirit with friends and neighbors. Just having many opportunities to get together, especially before the winter comes, it feels really, really nice. And if you enjoy community events like these, you can help support more of them going forward. We have information on how to donate right on our website, mynbc5.com. In Johnson, Sid Bule, NBC5 News.